hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new in this channel please subscribe if you are returning subscribers i welcome you back in this channel please like the video comment and share it is very important yes guys this is a video being posted uh, by prime minister himself my simon Ekman. he posted this on his uh, twitter account but uh, this program is being anchored by Dr. Damages, Rufo Um We have this, our brother, I think uh, from Anambra State, Chedi Anselm or the Carlo, some, 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 something like that. He is the one that um, on that program he was calling Samonepa a lot of uh, ugly names, imbecile, stupid, and all that, simply because of the sit at home order and the activities of Jafran you know uh, agitators at the moment you know most of these uh, political uh, leaders or politicians in southeast of nigeria uh Biafra land they most of them they they are not happy with uh, the level the agitation has gotten into and um, the activities of the liberation army and the sit at home order you know, knowing fully where the needs and the reason behind those things. After they kidnapped Martin Namor the Colonel, some of them believe that um, it is all over. But unfortunately, it's not what they think. And uh, most of them, are, they can't hide their feelings anymore. They will come, to, they will come in public and uh, they will be, you know, saying a lot of nonsense. Looking at this man here, calling the money was stupid, Imbecile and all that. To me, it's, it's, it's laughable, you know. Someone who looks like a, a circle cell, you know, look, look like someone who has a whose blood group and the genotype are not uh, even uh, pleasing. He's here trying to use a uh, ugly name against uh, someone, but because of what is going on. And what is it that is going on actually? Sit at home is not a crime. It's not a, something that you can, you know, sue someone, sue him in court and say that he committed a crime. I don't know what is really wrong with our people, honestly. I just want to, I just want to share this video with you because when I watch it, I feel so bad. Just hear it from his mouth. An idiot like Simon Ekba sitting in Finland with a wife from who is white from Finland telling Nigerians what to do. It is because these politicians in our part of the country have failed our people and failed themselves that imbeciles like Simon Ekpa will be doing what they are doing and people are even noticing them. So I do think, having said everything about sit at home that I find disagreeable, it should also teach us something. Okay, after listening to this man yapping nonsense about Simon Ekwa and the uh, activities of uh, Biafran's on sit at home, you know, he claimed that um, he's uh, against sit at home and he being a victim of uh, sit at home and all that. This is our Biafran brother, a man who knows uh, who is older than this, this man. I don't want to insult him actually. I'm trying to, you know, choose my words. So this man, uh, this our, our, our elder, has something to you know say to him. I think uh, he lectured him here because, uh, although he won't learn because he's a one of a political puppet. Let's see what he has to say. I suppose you are proud now. You are welcome to this platform, and the Dr. Damages, thank you again for bringing another illustrious son of ours to be in this discussion. Uh, I listened to the, the portion of his talk before leaving this program where he has to talk again for us to um, ask questions. I very much admired the points he addressed. And in this particular morning, I, I didn't come in on time, so I cannot really say much about the things he said before now. But the little portion I got, I have a concern. First of all, 
uh, I don't think that it is okay for us as individuals to use our level of understanding and explaining things and, and make it general. It seems like from the examples he gave of goodness, yes, there's goodness all over the country. But I have a problem with where the people who he said, he used some, not the best description of what's happening, about the sit at home. Simon is not the name you called him. Simon is someone who is taking a risk for his people, just like Namdekano did. Now, we know that he lives from evil land. Many of you are comfortable enough not to want a change for a free Biafra. Because in Nigeria, you have a name and you will see how your name continuing. Now, not, not buying into Biafra because there's one silly or one whatever name you call you call uh, uh, Simon. Doesn't it present you as someone who cares about the, your people? It's you that you are defending in describing Simon the way you did. Now, this uh, sit at home, I can assure you that our people know the reason behind it and they want now they can out of that jail before they can stop sitting at home. But many of you are buying the narrative that is out of fear. It's not out of fear. We are sick and tired. Before this time, we, we are being killed. We are still being killed. The people you now see as having died from sit at home is not caused by, by Simon Ipa. It is what Nigeria wants so that they can kill more. And when it happens, they use the opportunity. So I I can tell you, the Igbos are one of the most friendly and reasonable people in Nigeria. I'm not saying others are not. Look at what happened to us during the war. Immediately after the war, we saw we, had, we couldn't fight anymore. We took our tools and, and heartily went into Nigeria. We went everywhere and resettled. The people laughed at our women because they didn't have the best clothes to wear to show up. They laughed at us. Someone like Umezoke carried yam on his head to sell. We quickly bounced back into life in Nigeria. Of course, we thought the war had ended, but we can see now that it did not end. So, so this blaming of the 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 the, 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 the ones that are, are, are suffering, blaming of the of, of those who have. Okay. I want to, please, please let me finish because I, there's a way I want to put what I'm trying to say. Every time the Igbos are blamed, the one, the one who is blaming them or the Biafrans, but more the Igbos, is always not looking at what psychologically has happened to the Igbo. And nobody has debriefed us of that. And we are still seeing the same thing we saw, the hatred and the killing that we, we thought was over. Let's see. Let's see. Let me put the question. Let me put it in form of question. What do you want for the people who are now saying we want Biafra? Is it this thing we are in now that we are being killed every day? We are able to change. People are able. To, if you get, give them freedom, they will immediately change back from just the same way they change into Nigeria to live a good life and everything, they will change. And uh, I, 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 I think it's time for us to stop blaming the very people who are suffering the most in that country. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I, I don't know where you are speaking from, um, but Simon Ekba, is speaking and I called him an imbecile and you know I stand by that. Yes? Okay. Yeah. Now, have that. By the way, my name is Chidi. Hmm? I don't yield to anyone in my in my Igbo-ness. You're not more Igbo than I am, and I'm not more Igbo than you are. Okay? Now I cannot tell you if I tell you, you know, my I come from and my parents lived in precisely the epicenter of the current crisis. If I tell you the amount of 
Ali Iburu Jigorukoga in the last three months. I have covered over 350 kilometers on foot. Nalibu. Inugo. So I'm not going to take lectures from anybody on what is happening in the Southeast. I've come in from the Southeast to the United States this week. I'm going back to the Southeast. And I'm about Alibu also. You can see, he said that he's not going to take any lecture from anybody, but he wants people to listen to him and take him serious. You can't just, uh, you know, make yourself to look so special and so intelligent when you are not. You came on here and start bashing on Simon Ekba for no just reason. You said that you you have lost people, you have lost family members and all that. Yet, you are telling us how you move from one place to place in Igbo land freely without being hot. And they want us to trust this. <laughs> it is funny. So when we come to this thing, let us all come to this thing as and we understand what is going on. If you don't understand, I do. I have lost family, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five. I have buried family. So you don't give me lectures about what is happening in sit at home. The first thing is when we are talking about this thing, can we respect one another? Simon Ebba cannot be sitting and sleeping with a white woman in Finland. And you are telling me. No, he said that he, he traveled around Igbo land and uh, he have lost several family members and all that. Does this man look like someone who lost uh, one, two, three, four, five, according to what he said, family members because of sit at home? And the same person who lost these family members is not telling you how he is moving from one place to place in Igbo land, you know, on foot, according to him, on foot, you know, seeing things by himself that nobody can lecture him that he knows it all. And at the same time, he's telling you now that he, we should respect each other. And you ask yourself, does Collins Amone, does Collins Amone by names uh, serve as a respect? Does this uh, sound any respectful to you or anybody that he's sleeping with a white woman? What does sleeping with a white woman or married a white woman has to do with the current crisis that we're talking about? That is where I have problem with this man. You know, that's where I have problem with him. You cannot just use that as a excuse when you know that what you are saying is not true. You know that what you are saying is not true. That he is what to you? If he is that to you, please, I will respect you and what he is to you. But when I am burying my people, my family, my blood, because of his irresponsibility, and you are giving me lectures, I will take exception to that. I've listened to you in dignity and respect. But I do think on this matter, I know a lot more than you do. I respect your age because you're older than me. But I swear, I know a lot more than you do on this particular subject matter, and I will not yield to you when you try to give me lectures on this matter. I will end there. All right. And you want people also to listen to you. You want people to trust you and believe what you are, what you are talking. You are a politician. You are benefiting from the system. So what do you expect? You are benefiting from the system. It is very, very clear. We know who you are. We know your antecedent. You, have you ever condemned anything like Fulani Hesman, how they're killing in the Southeast? Have you condemned any military uh, agent and uh, the, the massacring people, you know, civilians in the Southeast? Have you condemned anything apart from the sit at home? This is problem we have in Igbo land. Anyway, I just want to share this with us. This is my reaction, actually. I don't like, you know, to go beyond my boundary because... This type of people, we, they, we, they will make you angry and, and just to benefit from what they, whatever they benefit from the system. It is very unfortunate. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. See you in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.